So this week's just been a hell of a weekend. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos lately. I'm going to run this up the flagpole, so to speak, and see if you're all interested in the trials and tribulations of growing an IT business. And uh, so it's going to be the first video I do, and uh, I kind of want to call it the, uh, the IT shop, kind of a take on the IT crowd. And it has been a coffee plus aspirin type of week for me. Let me just share with you the concept of the videos, and then we'll talk about what's going on. So what I'd like to do is each week share with you a problem, a challenge I'm facing, how I'm dealing with it, and uh, kind of share that journey with me a little bit. So a little background, I've been selling uh, network security software for you know, nine years, long time. And uh, I've used it myself for my own business, some of it. And some of it I just know from a really uh, esoteric kind of level, very high level, but not day-to-day -day use. And we were approached, or I was approached, by one of my vendors to, hey, can you help us uh, do some technical support? Can you help us do some installations and training? Opening up a new channel for me because we've been strictly in the consulting and sales portion of it never really in the the uh, never really getting our hands dirty and I thought you know this would make a great new revenue stream for me it's kind of a natural but the other thing is I wanted to get the business just not in the sales side but also kind of take us into uh, a complementary direction so network security, what I'm thinking is uh, taking that and becoming more of an IT security firm. So we're, that involves things like doing penetration testing for clients with a practice built around what's called PCI DSS. Now that stands for, stands for Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. Anybody takes credit cards, right? We want to help them keep that data safe and using a variety of tools that we sell, uh, implementing those, training people how to use them properly, getting the correct reports, and remediating their issues would be part of the practice, as well as helping them train to take self-assessments for uh, compliance. So it's really based around, the practice will really be based around this whole payment card industry, data security standard compliance. So that's, a, a new area for us. It's complementary. We've got a lot of background in network security. Uh, many of these tools I have used or currently use, etc. So that's what we're doing. And um, I have a huge database of customers, and I've got even a few Fortune 500 companies as customers. I have the U.S. government as a customer. So we're all set there. But we want to take this to a new level, a much higher level. So this week, why is it a coffee and uh, aspirin kind of week? Well, part of the challenge is, since we're just putting this together, putting a team together of people that can assist with the installation and support of the products to help these companies become compliant. And... I have some dear friends that I have worked with and known for many years, uh, and I, I thought about talking to them about doing subcontracting work. And here's what's kind of interesting. See, IT and, and tech itself is a lot different than many other trades. If you learn plumbing, once you learn the tools and how to use them, uh, then, you know, it doesn't really change that much. Uh, being an electrician, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in technology, the tools themselves can vary so much and change so frequently that it requires a lot of study. And on top of that, uh, the software that I sell to these customers can be very complex, especially if you don't have a lot of knowledge about things like networking or security or that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a challenge. The problem with uh, IT subcontractors is many of these folks 
or, or, or that I know tend to be, you either really fall into several different camps. You know, you have your generalists out there that kind of do the broke fix IT thing. Then you have people kind of focus on infrastructure on the enterprise side, and they do managed services for businesses and so forth. These are very smart people. But when you ask them as a subcontractor, look, I have these, uh, let's say these four products, I would like you to uh, install, configure, and train people on. That requires them to kind of break out of their comfort zone and take time to learn these products before they would accept a job that I would pay them to do. And that's kind of a challenge. And fortunately, I've got some great friends and, and I, through networking, I've found some subcontractors to pitch in and help me out. And that's, that's awesome. The other side of the coin, and I think the best way ultimately, as I can actually hire them full time as business and resources permit to concentrate entirely on the practice. If they want to, some people are subcontractors by choice. Others are because of circumstances beyond their control. Um, finding people that do enterprise stuff as a subcontractor is very expensive. These folks are highly trained on things like, you know, Cisco routers. They're highly trained on like Avaya phone systems. They're highly trained, you know, they have their uh, MS, uh, MCSEs. Uh, and, you know, and they work on large networks and all that sort of stuff. So they're very highly trained, very expensive. So I'm better off, I think, ultimately working with general, generalists and hopefully hiring some generalists to learn what I'm doing. And that's the challenge. As I lucked out by doing networking, I was able to find some folks who uh, were very knowledgeable in the products that I sell and are willing to subcontract Moonlight, giving us a hand. And so we build up the resources to hire people full time. So that my, was my challenge this week. And man, oh man, not to mention uh, creating virtual machines and uh, just technical issues with all that. But we got through it. We got through it this week. So my ultimate goal is to eventually hire some of these folks or hopefully they'll come work with us full time as resources permit and dedicate themselves more to the whole PCI DSS practice I'm talking about. So that's uh, how I've been working on this week's challenge. If you like the concept of this video and you'd like to see more about building and growing an, an IT practice and what you go through, let me know in the comments down below. Damn, I love coffee. I'll talk to you later.